Hi everyone, here we've got POCO M3 and let me show you how to add a fingerprint to this device. So first of all, let's enter the settings and here we have to scroll down and find passwords and security. As you can see here, we've got the fingerprint unlock option, so let's tap on it. And now we have to set an additional screen lock. If you have one currently set, no worries, you will be just transferred to another step. If not, you will have to do it right now. So here you can choose from pattern pin or password, just tap on the option you want to use. And I think I will pick the pattern, so simply tap on it. Here we've got the warning that you have to remember your lock screen password because if not, you will have to erase all the data on your device because you will be unable to unlock your device. So let's tap on got it. Now we have to set the pattern. So let me draw it, redraw it and confirm. And now we can add our fingerprint. And all we have to do is simply put the finger on the sensor, which is located uh, on the edge of our device on the power button. So let me do it. And as you can see now, I have to do it multiple times in order to add my fingerprint fully. Okay, now we have to move our fingers, so it means that we have to add all of the edges, so we have to unroll our finger, of course, for better air recognition. Okay, and as you can see, we just successfully added our fingerprint. Here we can rename it, so let me do it just up on this place and let me rename it. Okay, let's tap on done. And as you can see here, we've got some fingerprint settings. This is the fingerprint we just added. We can tap on it, rename it or remove it. Let me get it back. What's more, you can add another. Uh, here we've got the recognition method. So let's tap on it. And here we can choose uh, how we want to unlock our device. So we can unlock it simply by touching the uh, sensor or uh, by pressing the power button. But I think I will leave the touch. And under it, we can decide for what we want to use our fingerprint for. So you can uh, use it for privacy, password, app lock or fingerprint payments. It's really up to you how you want to set it. So, okay, so let me check if it is working. So let's lock our device. And now let me put my finger on the sensor. And as you can see, this device is unblocked. So it means that we successfully added our fingerprint to it. What's more, if you will block it and tap on it and go into the lock screen, you will be able to unlock it with the password or in my case with the pattern I currently set. So actually that's all. This is how to add a fingerprint to your POCO M3. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.